Everybody knows somebody with those odd looking pieces of skin hanging behind their ears after they get their ears pierced. Well, those are keloids. Keloids are raised overgrowths of scar tissue that occur at a site of a skin injury. But they can occur anywhere, but most likely where trauma, surgery, blisters, vaccinations, acne, or body piercings have injured the skin. Keloids differ from normal mature scars in composition and size and are more common among African Americans. Some people are genetically prone to keloid formation. When a keloid is associated with a skin incision or injury, the keloid scar tissue continues to grow for a time after the original wound has closed, becoming larger and more visible until it reaches a final size. They generally occur between 10 and 30 years of age and affect both sexes equally, although they may be more common among young women with pierced ears and tattoos. They are shiny and smooth in appearance and are usually flesh-colored red or pink. They can be doughy or firm and rubbery to the touch, and they often feel itchy, tender, or uncomfortable. They may be unsightly, and keloids may continue to grow slowly for weeks, months, or even years. They eventually stop growing, but do not disappear on their own. Once a keloid develops, it is permanent unless removed or treated successfully. It is common for keloids that have been removed or treated to return. There is no single treatment for keloids, and most treatments do not give completely satisfying results. Two or more treatments actually may have to be combined. If you decide to pursue treatment for a keloid scar, you will have the best results if you start the treatment soon after the keloid appears. Available treatments include removal with conventional surgery, but keloids return in more than 45% of people when they are removed surgically. Corticosteroid injections, in which steroids are injected at intervals of four to six weeks. This treatment can often reduce keloid size and irritation, but injections are uncomfortable. Compression. This involves using a bandage or tape to apply continuous pressure 24 hours a day for a period of 6 to 12 months. Then there's cryosurgery. This freezing treatment with liquid nitrogen is repeated every 20 to 30 days. It can cause a side effect of lightening the skin color, which limits this treatment's usefulness. There are some experimental treatments like interferon injections, imiquimod cream, and the chemotherapy agent 5-fluorouracil, but these agents will need to be evaluated further before they are appropriate for outside of research studies. Keloids are harmless cosmetic problems that do not become cancerous, and once a keloid stops growing, it usually remains stable unless the area is injured again. So if you know that you're prone to keloids, just remember that every time you pierce your skin for any reason, even if you get a tattoo, this nuisance may reappear. I'm your favorite doctor, Dr. Corey Abair with BlackHealthTV.com.